Good afternoon. Welcome to BFP Insider. I'm your host, Susan McCord, and I am here today with an amazing cast from the movie Heart of Dance. So I'm going to start off by introducing everyone. I'm going to let everybody introduce themselves and the part that they play within the movie. So we'll start over here. My name is Pamela Jones, and I play Mrs. Carmichael. Uh, Scar Scarlet, you're not Scarlet in the movie. <laughs> Keely's mother. Hi, my name is Monty Everall, and I am the father, Jim Carmichael, Keely's dad. Hi, I'm Scarlett, and I'm playing Keely, and they are actually also Anna's parents, or Julia's, oh. <laughs> but that's Sorry. okay. Uh, hi, my name is Julia Stone, and I play Anna. Okay, so Scarlett is the writer, uh, the script writer of this, it's her story. I want to ask you, what inspired you to write this story? Um, real life events. Real life events. Can you yeah. explain that? Um, everything that happens to Keely um, emotionally is something that has actually happened to me. I mean, my younger sister didn't die, um, but my boyfriend in high school died in a motorcycle accident. So everything that Keely goes through is something that I have personally experienced in like the emotional capacity. And um, I had a friend that passed away from eating disorders um, that went to my dance school. So um, that's sort of how the eating disorder thing tied in there. Now speaking of dance, this is something that you you professionally do on a regular basis, correct? Um, professionally, <laughs> <laughs> I danced rec uh, recreationally for quite a few years, and then when I was in grade eleven and grade twelve, I only went to school till noon, and then the rest of the day I was at the dance studio. So at that point, I was dancing about twenty five hours a week or so, so like semi professionally, but not part of the company or anything like that. But okay, now you have a big challenge in this movie. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the movie, you're going to be a bit of a different size. Yeah, I um, I get to lose... I'm supposed to look like I lose about 40 pounds throughout filming, so um, I have to incorporate that in somehow. I'm doing pretty good from stress anyway, though, so it shouldn't yeah. be a problem. That's great. So you're going to be filming it along and, and losing the weight as you go. Yeah, um, it's actually going to be a pretty unique experience for the cast and the crew because we have to actually shoot the entire film in sequence. Uh, which normally you don't, you just sort of go by location and the actor's availability and that kind of thing, but we're actually going to shoot everything in order. So. Well, Tom Hanks had to do a similar thing in yeah. his movie, didn't he? He had yeah. to lose the weight. So, Julia, you recently starred in a very interesting movie. And can you tell us the name of that movie? It's called The Year Dolly Parton Was My Mom. Okay, and how did you get that? Uh, actually, my mom and I were following the director's blog because um, we were really interested in how uh, a story goes from being an idea in the writer's head to actually being a movie that we all watch. So we were following the blog and we heard from the blog that there was an open Facebook audition and anyone could submit their tape. So we decided to just go for it and I put my tape up on Facebook and it just, from there they, they um, I got a, a few callbacks and I got the part. And it was a lead role, Yeah. right? And it was just playing in Vancouver recently. Yes, um, it's coming out on DVD soon as Oh well. good, so I get to see it. That's fantastic. <laughs> okay, and so how did you get this part? Actually, I didn't audition for this part. Um, uh, they cast me because uh, I worked with Scarlett in a short film, Sunday's Child. And, um, yeah. and what did you do in Sunday's Child? I was killed by Scarlett. Yeah, I killed her. <laughs> <laughs> Dancer in this in this film. Um, yeah, <laughs> so you're quite a diverse actor. Sure. <laughs> so is she is she a good sister in the film? Yes. Yeah, she's very good. And you were sister. close in the film. In this one. Yeah, in this film, yes. 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 Yeah. We're so, we're close. We have a little yeah. competitive thing going on with the dance because she's yeah. actually, um, despite being younger, she's much more advanced than I am. So there's a bit of competition there, but um, yeah, we get along pretty well. That's great. Well, let's talk about uh, mom and dad over here. <laughs> now they're sitting together on the couch right now, but I think in the film you are actually divorced or separated. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And do you get along? Are you congenial with each other in the in the film? Uh, off offset. No. But <laughs> in the movie, yes, because we're really focused on the girls or what's happened with our girls and, and losing one of our daughters and and the health of, of our other daughter, which is Keely. And is this the reason you're separated in the film because of the, the trauma of what happened to your daughter Anna, which is yes. Julia here? 
Yeah, yeah. I think that happens a lot. I've, I've had friends that have yes. lost a, a child and, and it just it gets in the way of, of a relationship and they just can't bear to look at each other anymore and that's that's what happened in our case. In okay, and in the script I've noticed um, with, with the mom in the film, you do take a little bit of a... You, you get a bit of a title attached to you as far as, far as how you are with your daughter. And how do you feel about playing that role? You mean that B word? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was trying to be a little roundabout how I went there, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, con I'm compassionate for this character because she has been through so much and she has so much guilt over the loss of her daughter. She's trying to connect and love her other daughter just as much, but there's just so much grief that she's dealing with. She comes across really in a really negative way and not really connected. A little harsh to with, yeah, yeah. A little bit about the weight issue. She's, she's very judgmental about the weight and she's always comparing her to her other daughter, which isn't fair to Keeley. So, yeah, it's, it's a tough role in that way to try to to maintain the sort of compassion for that yeah, character. Yeah, it must and be saying, hard. Why is she saying that? She's just being so awful to her. But, you know, we it, say a lot of things that we don't mean. Yeah, it just comes out true. when you're... And you know, it's a good thing to portray that in the film because this does happen in real-life family situations, yeah. and sometimes we don't realize we're being a certain way. Now, as far as Dad over here goes, yeah. Jim. Jim, <laughs> yes. So Jim comes across <laughs> in the script be beautifully uh, put together and very there for his daughter, when he can be, yes. even though he's sort of removed with his business. Yes. And uh, Kaylee comes in and she's very, Dad, you have to see me right now and I want to get together. And you do make the effort. Definitely. I'm there for her all the time. We've always had a close connection. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah it's a really In nice storyline. So I want to ask all of you, maybe you can just throw it out there however you want to uh, put it for everybody listening. What has made you all come in and do this film? What is the message that you're trying to put out there to people? Maybe we can start with you. Well, for me, I've had um, eating disorders in my family, um, a few members of my family. I've seen it firsthand. I've been in hospitals seeing people with IVs in and all the, the dangers of eating disorders, how it happens, how it happens in a family, a really put together family. You think that's never going to happen in that family, and it yeah. happens. And um, so I think it's really important for people to look at look at eating disorders and what it is and what you can do to prevent it. I think that was what really drew me from my heart to this part and to this, this production as well as the cast. Yeah. Everyone here what is a so great committed. cast. They're Jeez. so committed everybody's to Everybody's so talented. I cannot even, I haven't got enough paperwork on yeah. this table with all what everybody's done here. They're incredible. There is. But, so as far as, you know, this is to, from your heart, all of you, uh, from what I'm gathering, which is why the name of the movie, is this what... Uh, heart of Dan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like there's a lot of heart in in this movie. And you are a very old soul to me. When I've looked at what you've done, your age, can I say your age? Of course, of course. 22 years old and the most amazing, the lead actor in, in, in this film, the writer, the production. You've done everything, which is why you've lost, what, 13 pounds? You said yes. you lost <laughs> okay, so these are, this is really an amazing story and we need to get some investors on this yes, and we please. need to put this out there because this is something that happens to everybody. This isn't just the four or five people in this room that can relate to this story. Unfortunately, with all the plastic surgery and all the things that are going on in the world right now, it's not getting any better. Even though there's a lot more help now with bulimia and anorexia and eating disorders, there still seems to be this this need to feel um, slim and, and this self-esteem sort of situation. Can you can maybe add to that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot of people think that um, people with eating disorders, it, that it's their choice. Like, oh, I'm going to choose to be anorexic. That is not the no. case whatsoever. It's you know, it is very much a mental illness. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people, especially students who are in high school and that kind of thing, if they have a classmate who has an eating disorder, or they think that they might, you know, a lot of the time people are scared, like, oh my god, you look so anorexic, right? And it's such a touchy subject for some people. And I mean, sure, some people are naturally thin, but you don't choose to become no anorexic or bulimic or have an eating disorder. So I think um, just even to raise awareness for that kind of thing mm -hmm. is really, really important.